Hello, in this video, I will uh, go over the different uh, kinematics of uh, machine setup. Uh, in the previous video, I put in uh, machine simulation 5-axis mill setup part 1. Uh, I have the files you can uh, download and uh, if you want, you can follow along. Um, I will uh, put the uh, link um, below in the description. So uh, let me expand this and uh, let me show you what I got so far. And we will uh, remove all those uh, kinematics links and we will uh, set it up again. Uh, so far I got... So if we set up this um, A axis, it's set up along the rotation of uh, X axis. So a, this, this is going to be X, It's gonna this is going to rotate around uh, A. So that's why we uh, set it up as uh, axis A. You can see uh, how far you can uh, travel. Obviously, it's going to be a tilt. So you set it up the, the whole thing so that the, the programmer can uh, see what's going on during the machining. Uh, so that's why rotation is from uh, uh, one. 26.5 to 120 so then uh, you see that uh, b axis so it's going to be uh, the uh, five, this is a 5c color adapter you can put it in and uh, for uh, more precise work then uh, we have uh, set up all the the tooling tool packets device uh, okay um so just uh, tell you an example of uh, you can look at the machine simulation 5x smell part one. Then uh, I went through the, the whole basics. So this is basically uh, this video is uh, building up upon the machine simulation 5x uh, mill setup part one video. So now we need to keep setting up uh, the tool packets and stuff. So when you set up the tool packets, so that we, uh, you have the description of each packet. Uh, make sure that uh, you set, set it up as a dynamic holder and uh, sway the axis. So you want the Y axis to be inside the spindle. Same as how you describe the tools in the NX. So that's your, uh, how you build a CCS for a dynamic holder for the tool going into the spindle. So that way you can use that uh, the same files in for uh, the cement that put it puts in. Now I can keep on building all those things, but again I will uh, build one more uh, stuff so that uh, because it's going to be we don't, I don't want to take it too much time. We can go back and delete and start doing everything. The next video we will uh, start how to program these machines. Okay, so the reason I got two different tables on the on the one I want to show you a different uh, way you can set up the the table table uh, machines if you have a uh, keep changing the your indexing table. Uh, so what we can do is we can uh, right now I will go and delete uh, this table and I set up the kinematics for this one. I uh, will uh, show you how I did this one. Again, if you want to set up from the the basics, you can look at the the, the machine uh, simulation five axis mill part five. So this will tell you, you can set up all that, uh, the specification of how you want to set it up. This will uh, tell you how many axes you are setting it up. Again, this one is uh, wrong here. Z is supposed to be NC axis, so let's uh, go and change that. Let's make sure that... Uh, Okay. So now if I go back and look at the PV motion, always whenever you set up the, the axis, go back and look at the, the kinematic setting, uh, make sure that all the axes are uh, done set up right. So draw an axis, X, Y, Z, E and B. Okay, so the X, uh, like I told you, A is around the uh, X axis. And this is the tilde, this is the rotary axis. This is how you set it up. Okay, now we will uh, delete the, the kinematics completely. I will start over again. 
So when you delete the the the, the base of it, so it, it's gonna delete uh, the, everything, all the child objects underneath it. So it's gonna be a base slide, B base, and uh, B slide. It okay? So it's all gone. So now we have to start building up. Uh, start building up stuff. So insert listen component. It's gonna be a uh, yes slide. So make sure that uh, pick everything that doesn't move. Either you can select from here or you can go back and select in the models. So we got all of them uh, here. Okay. So we'll uh, set up a junction for the A axis. We got to put it up in the right in the center somewhere. Oh. Okay, put it right in the center of the uh, the tilt, and make sure your axis is pointing in the right way. So we know that uh, we need to the x is going to be this way, okay? Uh, and then your uh, y is to be towards the spindle. So pick your y, okay? And uh, so y positive, it gets back on the machine. X is going to be a right hand, and z is pointing up. So that looks good. Now let's go and. Uh, Insert axis or the A. It's gonna be it's gonna be tilting around the A tilt. It's gonna be a around a Y. Lean uh the axis. Your next number, make sure that whatever you have, you don't have it here. Okay. So, value is put zero. so, we need uh, all the, uh, the axis movements you want to happen in the table inside the table so that way you can uh, have all the, the as far as the movements of the, uh, the tool that yeah, the tool can get to the work part. Okay, uh, so now we need to put one more uh, edit. So that's where. Uh, Now you say yeah, yeah. Sure. insert the components. Now you pick all the machine components that moves. Probably will move it out as B. Okay. 
set axis. Okay, so that's why you want to set it up this way. So all the machine moments are within that. Uh, you have to pay pay up that. So this is important. D base. Straight it down. Is to be towards the spindle, the x, x is towards the right, and the y is towards the back of the machine. Okay, so taxes. So this is a full rotation. All this velocity, acceleration, deceleration, you can look in the machine parameters and put it uh, put it in. Um, uh, mostly, uh, let's. I'm going to do go some default values. Okay, so now we got a. Uh, all the mission kinematics what we needed. Now, if, uh, once we set it up, then we can go and uh, pay, see what are the, the simulation settings. Okay. Just so I just close all the data. So, once uh, you have all the access, make sure it's all the uh, synancy access given. Okay. Okay, so we set it up all those stuff. Okay, so now set this uh, machine to zero. Everything is set it up to zero, right towards that. Wherever that uh, machine zero axis, we set it up. Okay. Uh, so now what we need to do is we need to go back and uh, proof, uh, set up all that, um, the the post processor and CC for uh, this one. And uh, starts uh, making a part and uh, uses uh, use the simulation settings for this. Um, so in this file, uh, probably you can uh, for all the how to set up all the base and stuff. This is a 15 minute video. Uh, how to set up all the the ba the bases from uh, the mission base uh, Y slide X slide A. Z slide and true changer and spindle and all the pockets and dynamic uh, holder pockets inside. You can look at the mission simulation IX will set up a video that I put in. I will put a link a link to it and I also there's a file you can uh, download the file you can uh, follow along if you want. Okay, thank you.